Recently, Xiaomi launched Xiaomi 13 series globally, and this series is also coming in UA market. It's, yeah, Xiaomi 13, Xiaomi 13 Pro, and Xiaomi 13 Lite are launching in Dubai, and I have Xiaomi 13. Let's do unboxing of this phone and see what's special in this phone. This one is a compact flagship phone with 6.36 inch AMOLED panel with Snapdragon 8 generation 2, IP68 certified, 4000 mAh battery, 67 watt wire charging and also support 50 watt wireless charging. Uh, I really like this phone. This phone camera is also the main highlight because, because they co-engineered with Lykia and the result of the camera is really fabulous. Let's check it out what's special in this phone. I am your host Sahil and you are watching Tech in Dubai. So here is the box of Xiaomi 13 with co-engineered with Lykia. This phone have two variant, 8GB RAM and 12GB RAM with 256GB storage with LPDDR5X 5 and UFS 4.0. This phone contains a SIM ejector tool, some instruction guides and a TPU silicon cover. Let's check the phone. So this phone comes with Lykia professional optical lens, Snapdragon 8 generation 2, 120Hz ammo at this print, 67 wire turbo. This phone support 4500mAh battery and Type-C to USB-A data cable with 50 watt wireless charging support and 10 watt reverse charging support. Let's open the So this phone comes in three colors black, white and green and I have the green one. It looks really fabulous and the camera layout have triple rear camera like Kia, Xiaomi logo and 2.5D glass bag. This have aluminium frame with power on button, volume key and some antenna rays, higher blaster noise cancellation speaker and there is antenna rays. Thickness of this phone is 7.98 mm and there is SIM card on the bottom with type C and dual speaker. There is no micro SD card in this phone. Let's turn on the phone. This phone comes with 6.36 inch full HD plus E6 AMOLED panel, 120Hz refresh rate, Dolby Vision, HDR10 plus support, Corning Gorilla Glass protection and 1900 nits peak brightness that's really awesome and when you check the bristles and single punch hole it's really very good the bristles and the display is really very nice and there are few of blood pairs like facebook tiktok spotify and netflix you can easily uninstall if you don't like it and this phone comes with miuf 14 and android 13 with snapdragon 8 generation 2 12 gb ram with 7 gb extendable ram memory and this phone comes with 60 hertz to 120 hertz refresh rate. Let's check the benchmark of this phone. So when we try it, the N2, the score is 1.3 million. That's really fabulous. And you can see the temperature is only 4 degree high and 4 degree battery drain. That's really fabulous. The Geekbench thing is near 2000 and multi-core is 4773. Wildlife Extreme 3678 and average frame rate is 22. That's good. And when we check the battery drain is just 1%, temperature increase 1% and frame rate 12 to 27%. When I tried CPU throttle is 81%, not so bad, but a little optimization needed in this phone. Let's try some gaming. We do PUBG. So let's check it out the graphics and how it play. So first of all, let's check the graphics. So this phone support smooth plus extreme. So you will get 60 FPS. And balance extreme HD explain HD and explain even as ultra HD with ultra so let's try 60 FPS and do a, day, a death match first so while playing I didn't find he any heating issue that's the main thing of this phone mostly the compact sign phone easily heat up but I really like Xiaomi for this one they optimize it's really nice and this phone doesn't heat up much and as you can see the gameplay is very smooth here I my player was dead so let's play a game so i'm not a pro player but i can do a little gaming to check the devices and if you like to watch this video in hindi language i have another language a channel you can check the hindi uh, version there so the gameplay is smooth if you want i can do a gaming review with fps meter and we will upload it as soon as possible so but i will say the gaming is really smooth and the phone didn't heat up that's the main thing i really like about this phone so you can enjoy some gaming clips uh, if you want to add some another game in my gaming review please let me know in the comment section
So let's talk about the display of this phone. I really impressed with the display. The bristles are so tiny, like it's an edgeless display. The single punch hole is also very short. It's a 6.36 inch Full HD Plus E6 AMOLED panel uh, with Dolby Vision HD 10 Plus support and 1900 nits peak brightness. That's really, really fabulous by Xiaomi. I really like this display now let's talk about the camera about this phone the camera is also the main highlight of this phone this phone support 50 megapixel sony imx 800 ois support 10 megapixel teleport ois support with 3.2x optical zoom and 12 megapixel ultra wide angle front camera is 32 megapixel that's really nice so this phone also have 30x digital zoom and while recording you can easily record the video in 8k 24 fps that's really good but the front camera lacks 4k i don't know why chinese brand not bringing in front 4k resolution let's check out some samples so i prefer xiaomi 13 with like and check out this is the 3.2x optical zoom and the picture is really fabulous another one is the portrait shot the edge detection is really good and the colors are very natural i really appreciate uh xiaomi this time for this flagship phone and you can see 3.2x digital zoom is really really good so i tried many shots and i you can see the colors the saturation and the clarity with optical zoom is really really fabulous and Xiaomi this time nailed it. I will try Xiaomi 13 Pro also and I heard the camera is really fabulous. So let's wait for my review. If you are thinking to buy it, uh, it's launching very soon in Dubai. I tried the selfie camera and you can see it's really nice. So the front camera is also very impressive. I like the edge reduction in the portrait shots and the another one. And uh, I think people will like this camera. 32 megapixel, not so bad. Uh, now let's try the speaker. This will have a dual speaker with Dolby Atmos support. So I like the sound quality of the speaker and it support Dolby Atmos. Now uh, this phone also support IP68 certified so it's dust and water resistant with 50mm. So that's really good. That's a full fledged features of a flagship phone. I really like this phone. So in my first impression I will say I like this phone because it's a compact side easy to carry one hand use. And I really appreciate the display, camera, battery and everything about this phone. Just the con is the 4K in front camera is not available. How about you? What do you feel about this phone? Let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please give me a like. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe.